Hey guys, my name is Esan. I'm our designer over here at Eraser, and today I'm super excited to show you our newest feature, Tables. Uh, so we've kept this feature super simple, super straightforward. Uh, you know, like the rest of our features, it, we wanted it to blend in as if we've always had Tables. So you can find this in our document editor. Uh, and this was actually one of our top requested features and we're, we're super excited that we finally have it in the product. So anytime you guys have a feature request, you know, go ahead and go into our forum uh, here from the feature request. Uh, and comment on things, create posts, or jump in our Slack community and you know we'll get back to you ASAP. Um, so how to do this, you can create a table like this just from this insert menu and go ahead and click on table. But you'll notice also we'll tell you the keyboard shortcut. So we do this all the time. So we can click that or we can go ahead and click command option T and we'll get a table. So I could you know do exactly what I, what I did up there. We'll just sort of use that as a cheat sheet for, for what to type. Uh, and as you can see, I can keyboard around really easily. Um, and so as always, we try to make things very keyboard friendly. Uh, and then we'll show you a bunch of additional keyboard shorts if you right click in this new right click menu that we have uh, on the documenter just for tables for now and we'll hopefully add it to other things in the near future. But as you can see, you can move things around, you can add rows before um, or after in, in, in this case or you know do a similar thing with columns. So let's go back here and you know add a, a row after. So that was, uh, let me make sure I get it right. It was Command Shift Plus. So I could go like that a few times. If I don't want it, I could do Command Shift Minus, uh, et cetera. So super easy, super straightforward. Uh, let us know what you think and excited to see what you make with it.